Uh, uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, do come back soon. <laughs> that was so funny. Yay. Starting. I wonder if that's original. Yeah, it is. Andy. First place pickle. Ooh, some tap. On tap honey. The robot rodents. Ravages shop. Spotted cheese. Oh, that's the next episode. Gromit. Poor Gromit. It's made for the butler. Oh, I can be Gromit. Yes. Walk around. I wonder if I can go on the table. Nope. Okay, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Bombs away. Can I give him the wrong thing? Oh no, that's not buttons. That's how I want to get dressed in the morning. Another perfect landing. Your turn to make breakfast, Gromit. Eggs, I think. And toast with honey today. Step to it, lad. I'm famished. Poor Gromit. Ooh, mail. Well, what did the postman bring us then? Any orders? Hand it over, lad. Get your breakfast. Hold on. The living room's out of bounds for now, Gromit. Had to use it for storage. Only temporary, mind. We'll need those crates once the orders start pouring in. Toast with honey is amazing. No breakfast foods down there, Gromit. Aw, I'm gonna go upstairs. Ooh, is this? Ooh. This is books. The African Queen Bee. The Naked Epary. The Incredible. I can't. Something of bees. <laughs> Cheese, yuck. You won't find me breakfast up there, Gromit. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Duh. There we go. I'm scared this game's gonna lock up on me some at some point. Breakfast. Eggs, toast, honey. What's, what's this? It's butter. Random tidbit. Butter. You can say butter in Russian. It's masla. That's how you say butter in Russian. Uh oh. Gotta fix it.
jerk. Can wait, Gromit. I need me breakfast. Did you bring the mail, Gromit? Oh, that's probably what I should have done. Oh, well, oh no. Final demand. I will know. This payment due now. And a disconnection? Nothing but bills, Gromit. I can't look at these before I have my breakfast. If we don't find some steady customers soon, I don't know how we'll make ends meet. Oh, all right then. I'll open one, but just the one? Hmm. Seems your subscription to Marrow Growers Monthly is up for renewal. Don't suppose you'd consider cancelling? Thought not. Oh, better pay up then. Now, where did I put me pen? Ah, yes. Ooh. I need that. Hey, 
Hey! That dog is getting a little too independent, if you ask me. Don't push me buttons, Gromit. Eggs today, Gromit, not porridge. was the Reading sound of my book. belly. It's saying what I'm too polite to mention. Breakfast is late. Here we go. Make your own breakfast next time. Cracking eggs, Chuck. But I can't tuck in until I get my toast and honey. Ah! Oh, shoot toasted honey in your face. Stupid, stupid squirrel ate it. Walkies can wait, gro- Toast. Breakfast? I'm beginning to suspect foul play. Honey pipe directly from the source. Everyone in town will want their own honey tap when word gets out. I want one. Done to a turn. My compliments to the chef. <sighs> but I can't break my fast. Here's your honey. Honey? How sweet of you, Gromit. 
<laughs> now that's what I call a breakfast feast. Wasn't so difficult, was it, lad? With a hearty plate of eggs and toast under me belt, I'm ready to take on the world. Gromit, I've a strange feeling this is the day our fortunes are going to change. Morning, Wallace. May I have a word? Uh, if it's about yesterday's uh, um, little mishap, Oh, no, you see? I can assure you it, it was an accident, Mr. Penier, and I'll certainly pay for the damage to your grocery shop. I was just putting the Sniffer 3000 through its paces. It's still only a prototype, you know. Oh, I realize that, Mr. Wallace. And what better place to test out a cheese detector than in a shop with such an excellent selection of cheeses? Happened. But you'll still have to pay for the damage, I'm afraid. Yes, of course. I'll put it all right. Though funds are, how can I put this, a little tight at the moment. Only until our new business is up and running. Hi, there well, are none. that's what I'm here to talk about. I understand you and Gromit are in the honey business now. Fresh deliveries daily, from B to you. <laughs> Ah, well, perhaps I can help you get on your feet. I'm having my annual sounding of the Crumpets Festival, and I'm clean out of honey. Can you deliver 50 gallons? 50 gallons? By tonight? Tonight? It'll more than cancel your debt, and it'll be good advertising for you. What do you say? I say... I say yes! We're in business, lad! You need to listen to your dog. Heads up, listen. no time for slacking. From B to you has landed its first major order. 50 gallons of honey by tomorrow. I want this place to be a hive of activity. It's your chance to show the world what sort of workers you are. They're certainly buzzing with excitement. Or maybe they're hungry. Did you remember to feed them this morning, Gromit? Never mind, lad. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, what's he gonna feed him with? Flowers. Now it's the perfect meal for a hungry hive. The remote control for my Sniffer 3000. Too bad about the teasing problems. Still, this might come in handy. It's a big remote. I don't want any accidents on my shop floor. I like how he walks. Bees love my motivational posters. Nothing like an inspirational poster to boost worker productivity. For some reason, my boys aren't terribly fond of this one. <laughs> my workers are very devoted to their queen. I think I'll leave that alone. Bon appetit. Oh. Hmm. Not exactly a flood, is it? Hmm. 
flowers, Gromit. That's the weak link in our production chain. We need more flowers. <laughs> Now, where can I find a whole lot of flowers in a hurry? No, don't do it. Beautiful morning, Mr. Wallace. Uh -huh. I'm pleased to see you've emerged from your subterranean lair. I found flowers. No flowers in here. <laughs> I wonder what happened to his little cricket bat. Going around <laughs> playing with everything. Ah, oh, it's so sweet. It's like in the TV show. Watering makes flowers grow faster. Though it works best if you've planted some first. Spot of gardening, have you, Miss Flit? Working my green fingers to the bone. But the hard work appears to be paying off. Indeed it does. Blooms everywhere. I call it my purple paradise. It certainly looks delicious. I mean, I imagine it would look delicious if you were an insect. You mean, if I were a bee? Well... Now you mention it. You want to feed my flowers to your bees? That is, if you don't mind. How many would you like? As many as you can spare. Oh, you can have all you want, Mr. Wallace. Oh, much obliged, Miss Flit. Here, you can jolly well grow your own. Uh, right ho. Still, um. There now, with hard work and a little luck, you should have a nice bed of flowers in two or three months. I can't wait two or three months. I've got a deadline this evening. Oh, you poor simple man. Nothing grows that quickly. I wonder. Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. Watch them sprout in seconds. Hmm. If it works on people, perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Three miracle ingredients. Grow team, energize, strongium. Well, I need a miracle, and fast. It shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Then we'll see who's got the grandest garden in West Wallaby Street. The hive will be humming in no time. Caught you! Can't 
take an old soldier by surprise. Morning, Major Crumb. It is, if you don't mind enemy invasions. I beg your pardon? Didn't you get my message? Received intelligence of a major air assault. Expect the sirens to sound any minute. Hope you know where your dearest air raid shelter is. I do recall something about that. But, Major Crump, are you sure you're not mistaken? I know, I know I've made predictions before, but I'm not trying Wolf. This time, I've got proof. The jar? It's what's inside the jar that counts. Incontrovertible evidence that the enemy is on the move. Does it? I can only see a snail. Of course it's a snail. But what's she trying to tell us? That's the important thing. Uh, what Nighty is night. she trying to tell us? Look at her, man. She's retreated into her shell in the middle of the day. And that means only one thing. It means she knows trouble is about to strike from the heavens. Law of nature, Wallace. Loaded in France during the war. Never wrong yet. Good man, Wallace. I see you at least appreciate the seriousness of the situation. Now, spread the word. If people don't believe what an old soldier has to say, perhaps they'll listen to the snail. You're looking at my case, aren't you, Wallace? Well, I suppose I was, Major. Bet you'd like to know what's inside. I am curious, yes. Ha! This case is packed full of government issue protein bars. Protein? Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for... Emergencies, obviously. Been stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look, too. Tasty? They're foul, but packed with high-strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. Mr. Wallace! That looks like... Can it really be... Jeans? Indeed it is, Wallace. Bensleydale, your favorite. Um, am I to take it that these are... Yes, free samples. Go on, duck in. And don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. And one for later. Forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. Hey up, Wallace, love. How's business? So, Wallace, in the honey business now, I hear. Oh, you've heard the buzz, have you? <laughs> oh, indeed I have. It's all over town. It'll never get off the ground. Stupid idea, if you ask me. And nobody did. Couldn't get honey out of a honey jar, that one. Excuse my husband. He's a right misery gut sometimes. Uh-oh. Hey, it's not closing time yet. Yes, indeed. Lovely. Ta-da! Bye then! Wonder if the landlord would be interested in subscribing to my honey service. Well, 
no sense in looking for new orders when I haven't fulfilled the first. That's a fine looking post box. It would make a good chassis for my honey powered vacuumatic, but that's tomorrow's project. Pity it's closed. Oh, I could murder a sausage roll or two. If it isn't Wallace. I had a notion you'd be nosing round the police station this morning. Uh, mo morning, Constable Dibbins. You're off to an early start today. Not planning any more visits to the shops, are you? Oh, no. Yesterday was a one-off. I'm in town on business. Is that so? Poor Sniffer 3000. I only just put the finishing touches on it yesterday and it's already fallen afoul of the law. Oh, there's Miss Sniffer 3000. Banged up like a common criminal. Oh, breaks my heart. That cheese detector's not a bad machine. Just a bit over keen. It's all the energites in its system. Energites? It seems to me, yes. Energites is one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. I used my last energite battery to fuel the sniffer. I'll have to get it back if I want to finish the formula. I'd rather not. Oops, missed. Fear not, my little cheese sniffing friend. Soon have you out of there. That mattress looks awfully hard. Just as well the Sniffer 3000 goes into sleep mode automatically. I hope they're not being too rough with Miss... Here on business, you say, Wallace? What line are you in these days? Honey, Constable Dibbins, from B to you, piped fresh to your home or workplace daily. Do you have a sweet tooth, Constable? Well, I have been known to dollop it on a crumpet now and again. Then perhaps you'd like to subscribe. I only procure my honey from a reputable sources. Have you shown them the snail? I'm not sure the snail will convince them, Major Crumb. If she doesn't, the air raid siren will. But by then, it may be too late. Have you brought it, Mr. Wallace? Just bear with me for a moment, Mr. Paneer. 
Major Crumb wanted me to show you this. That's a snail, Mr. Rollins. I know. Why are you showing me a snail? Well, it's in its shell, you see. And according to Major Crumb, when a snail goes into its shell during the day, it means we can expect untold airborne activity of an unpleasant nature. Go home, Wallace, and get some rest. Reckon you've been overdoing the inventing? Don't forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. Hey, up, Wallace, love. How's business? Do you know anything about snails, Mrs. Gabberly? I know they eat them in continental parts. Well, yes, but do you think there's anything special about this one? To be honest, I couldn't rightly tell. Drop by any time. May I show you something, Constable Dibbins? Is it important? It might be. That's a snail, Wallace. Do you notice anything peculiar about it? Only the person what's holding it. May I show you something? Is it important? It might be. That's a snail. Do you notice... Only the person what's... Sky is blue, and still it rains on yours truly. I'm looking forward to your festival of crumpets, Mr. Paneer. I'm afraid you're bad from my store, Wallace. Bad? Due to the devastation caused yesterday by your invention. Ever so sorry, Job. Have you come to deliver my own? Uh, it's not quite ready. You're not going to disappoint me? Oh, no. Well, what do they have to say now that they've seen the snail? Well, I haven't exactly shown it to everyone. But you must! Look at that poor lass. Not a care in the world. No idea that the alien hordes are about to descend. She doesn't want to face the truth, but it's your duty to shove it in her face! This may seem a trifle irregular, but Major Crumb insisted I show you this. It's... Uh, it, uh, oh. A snail? In my garden? Have you lost your mind, Wallace? Uh... I'm not sure, to be honest. I wonder where Major Crumb disappeared to. Phew! 
That'll put me right to sleep. Mmm, last night's bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. Trap door. Wallace, thank heavens you made it to the shelter. I'd given you up for lost. Caught in the crossfire, were you? Get your mind off the carnage up there. Would you like to hear one of my old war stories? Might help pass the time? Well, I hate to... Uh... Oh, of course you would. I brought visual aids. <laughs> I can still see it perfectly. Pardon me, Major. About those protein bars of yours. Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for... Emergencies, obviously. Been stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look, too. Tasty? They're foul, but packed with high-strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, groating bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. Ah, George, this is an emergency. Private Grubbit! I hereby issue you one groating bar. Guard it well, and see that it lasts you all day. Wallace, here's one for you as well. Much obliged. As I was sitting at the back of my mid-afternoon snack, an arrow rot from the ocean fire, though from a cook. <coughs> what a face! That's me kitted out for heavy combat. That helmet took many a dent before the war was through. Without it, I could have become seriously loopy. Take my advice, Wallace. Never go into battle without a regulation helmet like the one in this picture. <clears throat> Who's that fellow? That's me as a young recruit. Off to basic training. How I cried when they cut off my golden curls. But I cheered up as soon as they issued me with a beautiful set of dog tags. Dashed useful dog tags. If you happen to forget your rank or... Nay, you've got it right there. Never go into battle without your dog tags, Wallace. Three weeks later... Uh, uh, now, there's a sight. That's me posing with mother next to my 40 millimeter bofers. Look at the size of that monster. Big Betty, we called her. <laughs> the gun, not my mother. Sounds like you were quite a soldier, Major Crump. Well, Wallace, why the past tense? Uh, oh dear. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Something you civilians will never grasp. And I'd be happy to prove it by charging into the fray. That is, if I were recommissioned and had a proper helmet with a cute little brim, and if I could find someone to take charge of this shelter and distribute the protein bars. Queen, God bless her. Sure, she looks thinner. Last time I stood to attention during the national anthem. Gromit could do the job. Private Gromit? Can I entrust my precious cache of grouting bars to a Pongo? Perhaps so. He's proven himself a trusty foot soldier. Yes. If I am called away to the front, I'd feel comfortable leaving Private Gromit in charge. But I haven't been recommissioned.
I'd be happy to take charge of the Grotein bars. You? <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Wallace Held Chap, but you're hardly officer material. Jolly little dip. Hmm, place could use a good spring cleaning. This is my latest invention, the Magnetronic Pollinator. Ah, I see. Thought it was some kind of newfangled rocket launcher. From it, old chum. Slip me that protein bar Major Crumb gave you. You do no such thing, Private Grummit! I gave you your protein bar for the day, Wallace. I won't have you catching another from the enlisted men. 